Room with Joe Kelly, 88.5 in Fairfield, each and every Monday from 4 to 8 p.m. And it is straight up 5 o'clock, and we've been talking about this all week long. One of the hottest bands in the land, one of the funkiest ensembles uh, going around these days. They have a standout album on Capricorn Records entitled Late for the Future. The band is called Galactic. And these guys have been uh, touring with the likes of Live Counting Crows and currently with Ben Harper and the Innocent Criminals. And they're doing their own thing by themselves. And they'll be playing uh, upwards of three hours tomorrow night at Toad's Place in New Haven, just about 20 minutes away from here. And we are pleased to welcome to the upper room right now the lead guitarist and one of the, the founders of the band Galactic, Mr. Jeff Rains. How you doing, Jeff? I'm fine. How you doing? Great, and uh, you finally get a little bit of a day off, right? Oh, yeah, it's great. We've been kind of wandering around uh, Hartford here. All yeah. Day, buying CDs and stuff. Buying CDs. You, you've been over to Cutler's? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a cool place. <laughs> you definitely won't go broke over there, right? <laughs> they got some nice prices. No, there's this girl turning in CDs, so I went over and checked like 200 CDs to make sure she wasn't getting rid of one of ours. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> So you've been talking to the folks over at Yale University? Uh, a little bit. A little yeah. Bit. And, uh, of course, you're you're playing tomorrow night over uh, the esteemed club Toad's Place. This is your second time over there, right? Uh, that's right, yeah. We pulled in one time, I think, about a year ago. Okay. And uh, how'd you like the club? Uh, fantastic. You know, it's an old wood room. It's every, got everything that we as musicians would want. Right. Say, so. A bit different from uh, some of the big football stadiums you've been playing the last year or two right exactly yeah well the last month month or two maybe but <laughs> with uh you're currently on tour with uh ben harper right oh uh, that's correct yeah now uh you guys ever backstage get into those jam sessions at all on the uh, sixth not yeah we're looking for ben to, to come come play with us i actually have been trying to de to befriend his guitar tech to you know let him uh let me mess around with one of his wise and born guitars you know but yeah as of yet i haven't yeah, he, I saw him last time. Uh, he was on David Letterman tearing it up. So, you yeah, know. he's got great guitar tone. Yeah, and uh, of course Jeff Rains is uh, the wonderful guitarist out of Galactic. Um, we're going to backtrack a bit, if you don't mind, about uh, the early beginnings with Jeff Rains. And you were into music at a real young age, right? Uh, yeah, like the bass player and I kind of had bands all through junior high school and high school, and um, both kind of ended up going to college in New Orleans together, and just sort of kept kept it going, really. Um, so our sophomore year of college, like in 91, we started, uh, started a band in New Orleans playing kind of, you know, meters covers and stuff. And really it just kind of grew from there. I mean, it's now completely different in terms of the members, but, uh, you know, we're still doing the same thing I guess we were, which is trying to play funk music. Right. And, you know, you know, I'm reading about your story with you and Robert Mercurio, who plays bass, wanted to uh, hang around that funk scene in New Orleans. It, it just brought me back to when I, when I wanted to go out to college to Minneapolis because I was a big fan of uh, Prince and the, the Minneapolis sound. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, you went out there. You know, uh, how'd you decide uh, to get into the scene there and still go to college at the same time? I had actually worked uh, in New Orleans during one of the presidential conventions like when I was in high school, and I kept, kind of became obsessed with the city. And when college came around, it was like the perfect chance to go. So I was you know, gung-ho at that point. Um, and, you know, we'd become familiar with, like, the meters and some of the, uh, and plus long hair and some of the, you know, local talent. And we were both really excited to, you know, jump right in. Mm -hmm. um, so there was a, a, a club down there that had live music seven nights a week, uh, no cover charge, Benny's, where we, we just kind of ended up hanging out constantly because they always had a band and it was always sort of happening. Um, and that, which is how we met our lead singer, Theral DeCluitt, right. who was uh, singing with an R&B band, uh, at that point in the bar and he was just you know fantastic you know sort of soul singer um doing a lot of you know midnight hour and that and those kind of tunes mm -hmm. so, so it was a great scene and you know the bar since it actually collapsed on itself recently they're actually the world new orleans and the neville brothers and and the meters and everything um let me ask you about your, your travels around this country you still think uh funk's appreciated these days uh yeah I mean, we find a very receptive crowd i think mm -hmm. uh, in this country for sure uh, you know and we have we've been on the road for about four years and we just kind of kept plugging away and kept returning to places and gradually uh people you know word of mouth and uh doing you know radio things like this and stuff uh, uh -huh. the name gets out there uh, and i think we've been you know very fortunate to find a, a crowd for our music um and i think you know things like the jazz fest and mardi gras have really helped us right nationally because people you know sort of uh the music spotlight or whatever is shined on the city a couple times a year and at, you know, going back out into like San Francisco and New York and places like that, we found a huge 
a crowd of people, you know, who are interested in New Orleans music. So it was definitely, uh, it's worked, um, you know, great for us being from the city, I think. Now, how about um, radio being receptive? Because when I was growing up in my uh, early 20s and everything, stations were playing funk and live bands. It was all about live bands and shows kind of went to the wayside. How about today? You still getting good airplay? Um, we, you know, we would love to be on, uh, you know, any kind of, kind of radio, but we definitely get more play on, like, college and AAA mm -hmm. um, than we do on, like, the big, you know, pop rock stations and stuff. Right. Things need to change a bit there, but... Yeah, um, you know. Yeah, but uh, but definitely when people come to see the, the shows live, I, th I think I've noticed that some of the festivals like that, they may not be familiar with some of the bands if they're there, but as long as they're feeling the groove and the funk, you know, it's all good for them. Definitely. I think we've gotten a lot of... Um, we sort of have a wide variety of, of age groups at our shows, I think, which has always kind of made me proud. You know, we'll have, like, you know, 30 to 40-year-old people who are really interested in, you know jazz or uh, more sophisticated types of music and then you know young kids too um, who are you know maybe just getting into sort of um, improvisational bands or, or whatever okay how about we play a track off uh, Late for the Future by Galactic oh, go ahead man we'll get into it Jeff Rains of course one of the integral members of Galactic he'll be performing live with his comrades you got uh, four other guys in the band right well, there's six of us counting our singer okay there's five instrumentalists all right, you got Ben Elman on uh, tenor sax, all kinds of saxes, He's right? He's doing harmonica and baritone and, uh, and, and tenor sax these days. Okay, and Theral on the vocals. Exactly, yeah. Richard Vogel on keyboards and yourself, Jeff Rains, on guitar. Stanton kicking that, that rhythm along with Robert Mercurio on bass, right? Uh, exactly, yeah. I forget anybody? No, no, that's it. Covered the band, this galactic. <laughs> <laughs> all right, how about we uh, check out Black IP? What's going on with this groove? This is actually... Uh... This is, like a, we, this is one of the first guitar t times we ever used a guitar loop, but uh, this is a guitar loop, this little chunk you'll hear right off the beginning. But this is actually an old tune that we released, uh, the first tune we ever released, um, on Ubiquity, a San Francisco label. And, you know, the licensing finally came up, and so we re-recorded it for this album, and this is kind of the modern version. There is, like, a, another one out there. Okay. Somewhere down in Greenwich Village in New York, right? Yeah, it's, it's on. There's a Ubiquity compilation, actually, that just came out. Uh-huh. That this tune shows up on, the original version. Oh, okay. This is a totally new... Uh, you, you got a preference? Which one? Um, they both have qualities that I like. The old uh -huh. one's a little, a little raw, and we kind of did it on an ADAT in our living room kind of thing. Oh, okay. Um, and this one's definitely, you know, we were in the studio for, you know, almost a month to make this album, so we really got to flush ideas out and stuff and do some different stuff sonically than we've ever done uh, before. Okay, Jeff Rains is here, and we uh, are going to have him coming back after this song. Galactic, Black Eyed P. This is Joe Kelly in the Upper Room right here on 88.5 WVOF. Right, and if you're over at Toad's Place in New Haven tomorrow night, you'll be able to hear jams like that from one of the top bands in this country, and they have a, a nonstop tour schedule. They've been going uh, for the better part of, I guess, two years, right, Jeff? Uh, we've been touring for four years. Four years, okay. Um and we've been a band for about, this band has been together about five and a half years or so. Okay. And but, uh, your music's all over the place. And it's great. I mean, you've got the, the funk, you got the, the jazz feel and everything. You never get bored, right? Uh, definitely. Yeah, we try to incorporate everyone's influences mm -hmm. and, you know, throw it all in. Um, but while, you know, maintaining what is galactic, because I think we have kind of developed a, a bit of a, you know, band identity in terms of our sound. Um, so it definitely, you know, gets pulled and tugged uh, at times across genres or whatever. <laughs> now, so it sounds like on that, that track we just listened to Baker's Dozen, you had a pretty nice horn section going there. That was actually Ben and uh, Roger Lewis, who's this very, very um, famous baritone player in New Orleans who's, you know, played with Fats Domino and all these people um, mm -hmm. back in kind of the heyday of uh, the New Orleans jazz scene in the 60s. Um, but he's definitely a big, like, mentor for Ben. Um, and, you know, phenomenal musician. Uh, that's what, you know, it has that, that song has a certain tone. It's because of this guy's, this guy's incredible baritone uh, sound. He's truly outstanding. I'm sure uh, the Dirty Dozen Brass Band come through here, actually, from time to time. Oh, yeah. I They're mean, always worth checking out. Are, are you still in as much awe of what's going down in New Orleans as when you first got there? Yeah, well, word on the street is the original meters are going to re do a reunion show. Yeah, they're, uh, they're playing Toads, but I don't think it's the original. They're playing Toads in a few weeks over where you're going to be playing tomorrow night. And then in New York, I think they're going to do uh, a reunion concert. That's what I heard. I mean, yeah. that's a rumor from, in terms of what I've heard. But, uh, 
Yeah, and that would be a show to see, I'll tell you what. Now, how many of, uh, how many guys in the Funky Meters are torn from the original? Right now, there's two. Two? Okay. And then a couple of them live in California, so I think they're, uh, they're going to get it together. But uh, we're actually, when we get off this, we're doing a tour of the Midwest and then go to Europe uh, for the first time. Oh, wow. Um, for we're, a couple weeks. We're, we're broadcasting live on the Internet, so uh, maybe some folks out there get advanced word. You, you're going to hit any uh, specific countries? You get, do you have the, the schedule? Or? Uh, we're doing the Jazz Cafe in London on the 17th and then doing a festival in Belgium and uh, two dates in Germany and then uh, the Cannabis Cup we're going to play in Amsterdam mm. on the 24th of November. You travel out there before? Uh, I've been there, yeah, many times. Uh huh. Fantastic city. Yeah, you're going to bring a lot of spending money and get, catch uh, some of those record stores out there? I uh, definitely will. I, in London, I, uh, I know where to go. So. Now, um, talking about your guitars, you, you're... Uh, what are, you, what are you playing on stage these days? Uh, right now I'm using a uh, 335, which is what I recorded the record with, and then I also bought a, a 69 ES-150 Gibson. Um, and then I've just bought a 67 uh, Epiphone Olympic that I've been using a lot. Um, that's a really nice guitar. And then I have a Stratotone and a couple other guitars I use for slide and other stuff, but, uh, but mostly the, the Gibson 335 and 150 are what I'm playing. So you, you're more into going back a little bit into the vintage sound, right? Yeah, I mean, pretty yeah. much everything you see on stage at a galactic show is right. at least 15 years old. <laughs> <laughs> now, how, how about the rest of the band? Um, you, you've, got, you've got some great players with you. Stanton Moore, we, we've been playing his solo CD, um, all cooked out way back. And uh, you got Mr. Vogel on the keyboards, right? Oh, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, Stanton, you know, he really does bring the New Orleans element to the band with the, his style, style of drums he's very uh, he's originally from there right yes he is uh -huh. he's kind of grew up doing uh, you know Mardi Gras parades and all this and so he really can just <clears throat> nail the street beat and so we we do incorporate that into uh, the shows whenever whenever we can um, and then Rich you know he studied more like classical music and he's definitely the most probably um, scholarly of us in terms of music theory and stuff um, and then Robert and I both kind of grew up playing together um, and Ben is also kind of self-taught, and he played in some brass bands in New Orleans, Little Rascals, and uh, he's in the New Orleans Klezmer All-Stars, actually, Oh, uh, right. also, which mm -hmm. is a band that does tour around here quite a bit, um, and has a, lot, a bunch of records out, but anyway. Um, so there's definitely a, a lot of different influences. We're not Berkeley jazz cats. <laughs> <laughs> some, some, sometimes uh, it's not necessary, because you, you check a, you know, the records that you guys have put out, and you know, you don't necessarily have to read charts up and down as as fast as they need be, right? Uh, yeah, you know, we <clears throat> have very much learned how to play as a band, I think, just because we stayed out on the road and played so many shows. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, outside of anyone's individual talents, our strength is that we play as a unit. Right. Um, and, you know, you know, you have to kind of be a role player in some ways, I guess. Now, I... Uh I wanted to ask you this because I saw it uh, on your website a little while back that um, you guys encourage folks to come out and tape the shows and trade and everything like that? Um, yeah, you know, when we first started touring, we didn't really have a label, and it was a great way for us to get word of mouth and, you know, to get sort of just broaden our um, audience with the taping thing. And it's really, you know, I think been a huge, uh, you know, just positive thing for us so far. I mean, you know, we never really went out expecting to sell... 25 million records. Right. Um, so, you know, yeah, we definitely allow taping and... Uh, Even videotaping, right? I've seen people... Yeah, the videotaping thing, it's, you know, I don't, I don't... Some people probably don't feel as comfortable with that in the band. Right. Unless, you know, it's something legit, but... Uh, so keep the video cameras at home for tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Uh, you know, I'm not the one that would say anything to right. you about it, but... No, no, not myself, but I, I was just... I saw something on the website, but... Yeah, that, that's real good that you've extended your, yourself to the fans and, you know, they get that kind of closeness. Spread the word, right? Yeah, I mean, as long as no one's selling it, if they're just trading yeah. it, I think it's a great, a great thing, you know, personally. Now, you guys have played some pretty nice venues that I was looking at um, some of the set lists that you played. You played Jones Beach, right? Uh, yeah, we just did. Yeah, how was that? Uh, that was great. Yeah. Incredible venue. Um, you know, if you go to the top of the stadium, you're kind of looking out on the Atlantic in the end of... Long Island. It's very beautiful. Yeah, nice outdoor place. And um, upcoming, you've got two shows at Roseland this week. Yeah, we actually just did Red Rocks with uh, Ben Harper, and that was fantastic. Huh? Oh, wow. Love that venue. <laughs> it's 
so um oh you did with ben right yes yeah so maybe the next leg it's going to be a galactic headline in there maybe so yeah <laughs> now um you guys are doing a solo tour uh in between your, uh, these dates with ben um any different approach to to the night or is it just music and music as usual uh we're just gonna try to slam it you know we haven't gotten to play too many shows of this length so, so i think uh everyone's excited to play you know and we're, we're all resting up today so it should be beautiful and uh the, the fans here you you know people love the funk i i get calls people out of the woodwork liking uh records and everything like that i think people are gonna, you're gonna get a nice turnout for the show out there well i hope so you know we always feel very fortunate when we get a good crowd so uh, and i think the energy from the crowd translates to the musicians oh somehow. sure yeah. sure you got you guys gonna be having the cds in the lobby and everything oh uh, yes definitely yeah and people that's it's not too uh not too late to pick up tickets. You can go up to Toad's today at the box office and pick up tickets. Um, Toad's Place in New Haven. And um, this is your second time to New Haven, right? Oh, uh, that's correct, yeah. Yeah. So what are you guys doing tonight? Uh, I don't know. You know, we might go see Almost Famous as a band. I don't know. That was, that was somebody had this idea. Where was that? Um, go see the film Almost Famous. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got, got some great reviews. Yeah. I yeah. Don't, I, so, no plans as of yet. Yeah, that's, that should be a nice film if you go check it out. Um, we're going to take a short break if you don't mind, Jeff, and uh, we'll come back, talk a little more, and play, play another jam for you if you've got time. Oh, uh, sure. Okay, Jeff Rains, the lead guitarist, and he is also uh, one of those standout members from a band who is going to be playing live in our area, throwing down the funk at Toad's Place tomorrow night in New Haven. Take a short break, come back with more Jeff Rains. We're at WVOF, the Upper Room with Joe Kelly, each and every Monday from 4 to 8 p.m. And, uh, Jeff, New Haven's also the pizza capital, I, I hear, in, uh, in the world. Yeah, but Pepe's and Sally's are both closed tonight. Oh, so I don't yeah. know. I don't, we're kind of... Yeah, yeah, there wasn't... I, I don't know the name of the restaurant, but upwards on that same street, they've got they got another brick oven pizza, so maybe if you guys search. Well, I'm at the Holiday Inn, so if there's anyone with pizza in New Haven, they can call here and probably... <laughs> and hook Jeff Rains and Galactic up. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were talking uh, off-air, um, a musician we both admire, um, great guitarist, Jesse Johnson, who plays. Now, I, actually, I don't know if he plays, but he, he was uh, influential in some of the lyrics on, on the song called Thrill, right? Uh, exactly, yes. Yeah. He came to New Orleans and recorded a record a couple years ago, and our, our Pharaoh, our singer, um, got to be good friends with him. And so they sort of collaborated on a couple tunes, and uh, that, was, that was sort of one of the ones, lyrically, when we sat down to see what we had for the record. Uh, that you know came up that everyone felt really good about, mm. and we you know definitely, I thought wrote a slamming track you know to it. Yeah, I mean it's got funk, it's got a little rock, and Theral's vocals are really strong. And how about tomorrow night? You you, you got it in the bag? What's that? You got that 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 track in the oh, bag yeah, tomorrow? Oh that, yeah, that'll be there. Oh Forget okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna definitely uh, listen to it right now if it's okay. Oh, that sounds great. This is uh, Jeff Rains, Theral, and Galactic on a song which was co-written by Jesse Johnson, former guitarist of the time, and uh, we're just going to listen to it right now. This is 88.5 WVOF in Fairfield. And that's a track called Thrill from Galactic's standout CD, Late for the Future. And they're even better live, and you can check them out tomorrow night over at Toad's Place in New Haven, Connecticut, only about 15 to 20 minutes away from the studio here. And uh, you're looking forward to, to getting on the prestigious uh, Toad's Play stage once again, right? I certainly am. I also uh, wanted to point out we are going to debut a new vocal tune tomorrow. Oh, okay. Are you singing live? What's that? You going to sing? No, no. No, no, no. no I'll sing it well. Oh, but okay. It's a new tune we've been working on, and I think it's ready for a, um, <laughs> ready for a run edit. You guys are ready, yeah. You guys uh, laid down any tracks on the road? Uh, not recently. Mm -hmm. There's actually an album coming out, this guy Rashid, who plays Rai music, which is kind of this French-Algerian form of, it's like Arabic pop music. Oh, okay. Uh, that's coming out. I don't know about the release in this country, um, but it will, it's, I think Galactic's on about eight tracks of it. Oh, okay. So you're looking forward to that. And our singer actually recorded a new album uh, with Rounder of just his solo stuff, uh, which should be coming out next January or something, but it's a fantastic record. Talking uh speaking of Theral, right? Yes. Yeah. Does he speak French? Theral? Uh does Theral speak French? Uh not fluently. Oh, okay. So you, you got oh, you got the band and uh everybody's kicking back one day and then back back in action on stage throwing down the funk, right? Uh exactly. Now how about your background? I I know um you got hip to the P Funk and James Brown and, um how big's the record collection? Um the record collection actually is 
shrunk quite a bit in the last couple of years. But, oh yeah. Well, well you, you know, I was originally you know buying blues records was right. how I first kind of. What happened? You went on tour and somebody stole some of the stuff. Uh, there is yeah a first edition kind of blue and. Um, oh okay. Uh, what I say, Ray Charles album that I'm trying to get back. Yeah, we played a couple of Ray Charles songs tonight already. Yeah. But so, I guess the guy can't hear me, but I'm coming coming for my albums. <laughs> <laughs> You know where he is, right? I do, I do, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, Jeff Rains, um, you, you just, uh, I was going to ask you something about the, um, actually something off the album, Century City. Mm -hmm. um, was there any uh, influence going into it, the P-Funk, to try to get that sound, or just happened? Um, I think, I mean, it wasn't, you know, uh, when we first started playing the tune, it wasn't uh, on purpose at all. It just kind of came out that way. And when we went to record it, we sort of got this cool v compressed distortion sound by blending, like, the B3 and the guitar and a couple mm -hmm. other things, and a baritone sax, I think. So that monster kind of deep purple tone is actually three instruments. Oh, okay. Um, playing, and it was just, you know, we just all thought it was so cool <laughs> in the studio that we uh, we went with it. And uh, definitely uh, one of the top tracks off this uh, album, Galactic, Late for the Future. If you're going out to the show tomorrow night and if you don't have this CD, please support the band by picking it up in the lobby or the, the record store. I guess they si uh, sell it there. Um, you definitely appreciate when the fans uh, buy that and support, right? For sure, definitely. Yeah. Um, you know, for, uh, if people will buy our records, it's even, even better. Um, it's definitely, like I said, we're relatively humble about it you know it's kind of shocking to me that we sold as many as we have um but and definitely. people yeah people can go to uh the galactic website which is uh www.galacticfunk.com and find out all about stuff all the set lists and and um get in contact with you guys and the record label right oh yeah definitely. oh yeah it's no excuse uh not to go check them out they'll be at toad's place tomorrow night and showtime, what are they saying? I think we're around 9.30 we're hitting. 9.30? But get there early, probably about 8 o'clock or around there. Got an opening band, of course. And uh, thanks yeah, for... Yeah, uh, checking out. Excuse yeah. me? I said thanks for uh, appearing on the show. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks and, for uh, having me. Maybe when you get a little more downtime and you're in this area, you can pop by the studios. We're, we're uh, debuting some new studios next June and going to have a great live performance area, which we have now, but... It's going to be twice the size and everything. All right, we'd love to. Yeah? Anytime. See the, the uh, stripped-down acoustic uh, galactic, because these guys are real musicians. And uh, no Memorex, right? No, no, we can we can do it, too. We've uh, we've got a nice acoustic that worked out, actually. Now, and also, no Memorex on stage. You guys are doing it playing live. Exactly, yeah. That's right. Check them out tomorrow night. I will be there. Galactic at Toad's Place tomorrow night. Late for the Future is the CD, and uh, Jeff Raines is a great guitarist. You, you got a lot of solos tomorrow? I hope so. Uh-huh. <laughs> Usually, sometimes you just take it over? Oh, you know. Okay. Yeah, go on the field, right? Who knows? Who knows? Someone, one, of, one, of us, one of the musicians is always lit up and ready to go. So. All right, so, <laughs> you know, you'll find out tomorrow night who's on. Yeah, uh, thank you again, and uh, yeah. appreciate it. And, and enjoy your uh, night in New Haven, and just, uh, just kick back and relax. All right. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you uh, choose the the going away track. What do you, what are you in the mood to hear for today? Let's hear uh, hit the wall. Hit the wall, and uh, we're gonna listen to that right now. Jeff Rains, thank you very much, and continued success. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.